Hi, welcome back to my channel, Beauty From Inside and Out. My name is Lisa. So appreciate every single week that you are here. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I always say that at the end, but maybe as a reminder, um, especially if you found something that um, you can take away for yourself. But today, I'm going to talk a little bit about my personal life while I apply some makeup this morning, very light-handed makeup, which is the way I like it. But I hope and my goal is that maybe if you find some familiar pieces in this story um, pertaining to your, to your personal life, um, that you will leave encouraged in some way, shape, or form. So keep watching. If you're here, then you woke up today. And that is a blessing. Don't take that for granted. Don't waste it. As usual let's get the hair out of the face <laughs> okay guys um you know we all have a story do we not we all have a story and experiences that um when we start to share them whether it's with a close friend um or even sometimes a stranger right you can say wow i thought it was only me and so that's why i kind of want to kind of just share with you a little bit of my background story um, pertaining particularly um, my health. So um, I find it, I believe, very interesting that when you, as I said earlier, share with a friend or just someone that you're making conversation with, um, something that you may be struggling with that all of a sudden they're looking at you with those and you can tell immediately right like by just the way they're reacting or there's something in their eyes um that says i understand like i i so understand because i've been there so okay little backtrack we are sitting in 2024 but in 2010 so you're talking Quite a bit ago i was diagnosed with an autoimmune that's becoming a very familiar thing these days um totally out of left field no one in my family has any sort of autoimmune issues um and it started very subtle with little things like um not being able to swallow my food properly you know um I started noticing a lot of extra fatigueness and not even doing any kind of exertion. Um, I started to notice things in my hands changing form, my fingers. So the autoimmune I, I was diagnosed with is called um, scleroderma, crest syndrome, and they narrowed it down to scleroderma. It's a very unknown, um, becoming more known, very more of an unknown uh, classified for autoimmune but it mimics very much like lupus lupus is very i think you mentioned the 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 autoimmune lupus and people just know right away and it mimics it in many ways um with the effects that it does um so okay as i continue to talk let me go ahead and start my makeup application and i'm just gonna go ahead and put my makeup on if you have any questions um what i'm using um, how I'm applying something, just go ahead and leave it in the comments below. And I would love to go ahead and answer your questions. Um, and of course, answer anything that you may have even to my conversation today when it comes to some form of like illness kind of just hitting you upside the head. <laughs> and you're just kind of like in a whirlwind, not even knowing what just happened, what I, what you were just told. I mean, if that sounds like something that you've been through or you know someone that has, again, just leave it in the comments and I um, would just love to leave more of an, of an encouraging um, word or two for you because I think really at the end of the day, that's really um, a big part of how you get through every single day. Purpose and reason I wanted to um, share a little bit about this, um, this story of mine. Um, is because I felt like, um, we, when we're not feeling well, 
when we um, are dealing with a lot of issues um, health-wise, it really takes a toll on a lot of things, right? Um, we, we really just don't feel pretty, you know? We're feeling the way we're feeling as far as like the aches and pains or trying to wrap your head about, you know, the diagnosis that you've been given. It takes a toll to the point that, you know, even though you may not, somebody may be looking at you and saying, oh my gosh, like, you know, you look fine, you know, you, but you know how you feel inside and how you feel inside will really sometimes reflect outwardly the way you see yourself when you look in the mirror, right? Because you know how you're feeling, whether it's pain, whether it's, um, wrapping your brain about, you know, how you're going to handle what diagnosis you've been given, it takes a toll and a lot of things start to happen. And kind of my story was when I was hit with this information, I immediately felt like just kind of crawling into this shell and I didn't feel like, um, like the last thing I wanted to do, honestly. And of course, you know, with like with anything, everything is stages. You know, you it takes time to finally get to a place. Um, and I say this because it's been over a decade for me, but it takes time to finally get to a place where um, you have a more grip on what you're dealing with. And so my, again, my goal is to say, you know, give yourself some time, some grace. Um, when you are first in those first stages of not feeling like yourself. Um, and I think that one of the, one of the ways for me that it helped me start to kind of crawl out, um, from having those days of man, you know, who, who am I now? Like, how am I going to do life? Because <laughs> that's how you feel. You know that this is going to affect your daily life. Um, and again, it takes time. So please, when I'm sharing this, um, this is not an overnight kind of like, okay, I'm going to do step one, two, three, and then miraculously, I'm going to get there. Understand that I am talking through a period of months, if not years. And I still have days when my body shuts down and I have to muster the strength of just pushing through and then getting to a place to say, okay, Lisa, it's time to get going, you know, because a lot of times our insides have to catch up with how we're putting ourselves together, which is kind of why I say that I think beauty in itself, as far as like beauty and i put that in all categories whether it's your hair or your makeup or the fashion with the clothing that you wear you know it it it's not a vain thing i know it can be but i think that gets very badly stig stigmatized because what you're trying to do is help yourself your your psyche kind of get there when you start to do these little things, right? I mean, just think about how when you set the time to just really maybe take a nice soothing um, bath, you know, fill up the tub and just allow your body to relax and focus on just relaxing, like how that does to you, like mentally, right? And so when you start to do, and that's kind of where I started to put myself, like, even though I was having a rough week or, and I'm talking physically and just, you know, medically, I would have to then just say, putting on my makeup today is going to be what I need to do to kind of like snap myself out of it. And again, please do not take me wrong. This is not an instant, oh my gosh, I'm going to do this and feel like 100%. It takes time, but when you're dealing with um, 
an autoimmune disease. I think the misleading thing, as I started to say even before, that it can be, um, it's not something like a broken leg or, um, or when you're being diagnosed with cancer, where there's something that is an obvious thing, having an autoimmune disease is not something that's seen. And therefore, to, to the average person, they look at you and think you're fine. You look fine. And you're going through all of these turmoils inside, right? So I, I think that when it comes to taking the time to put your makeup on, getting your hair done, um, it it's more than just that action that you're doing. The sun is kind of coming through. Can you see? <laughs> I'm just, I'm actually taping this in um, earlier than most of the time, but I'm getting a lot of clouds and looks like the rain wants to wants to hit us any any minute now. Um, so it takes time. It takes time. It takes effort to try to get yourself. Um, I don't want to say out of that that situation because it's always there with you. It's not like all of a sudden your issue of what you're dealing with when it comes to illness is is gone. Clearly, it's not. But it does help you to at least feel better about yourself. And I know for me, when I start putting on my makeup or I start taking a little extra time for like some skincare and just like some some me time, that really does go a long ways. Um, it's just one of those tips I think that nice. can help you. How I'm putting on my makeup. I am not slathering like some makeup all over my face. I am putting it strategically in places, right? Um, okay, but moving along. One of the things I felt like um, I had to work on and it forced me to work on this because of the fact that um, I was sick now, you know? I It maybe didn't take a toll on me years ago, but it made me pay attention. And that is that I, and I don't say that I am anymore, at least if I, if I go down this avenue, I catch myself, but I would be considered a people pleaser. Right? Like how many sometimes don't we feel like we can really spend a lot of time just trying to please people, whether we're saying the right thing, doing the right thing, because it matters to us, right? What what somebody has to say. And I I have left that behind <laughs> because and I was forced to, like I said, because of this this disease. Um I had to say no to a lot of things because I just physically couldn't do it. And I I had to get to that point where it's like, is it gonna be worth it for me to sacrifice my extra energy or my time that I knew that I was pushing my body more than it needed to versus saying, okay, well, I need to be there because, you know, I've got to support you fill in the blank, so-and-so. Um, and I'm not saying that you're not ever going to do that, clearly. <laughs> I mean, you you live life and you do what you need to do and you go where you need to go. But I am just talking about, like, knowing that you're not feeling well, okay? You know that um, maybe you did a little too much extra the day before. And now this thing is coming up, this event or whatever. And... Now you're like, how do I, how do I say I can't make it? You know, first of all, a, a, a person on the other side would truly understand if they understand, if they know where you're at with your situation and they would just understand. But then there's people that don't. But my point is that's not my responsibility anymore to make that person understand why I can't be there or I can't make it. Um, but again, 
that's why I say that sometimes when things happen, you know, it's not to say that that it was purposely done to you, but when they when they do, when things occur, there's sometimes a lesson to be learned behind it. And I know that that was one of them for me because I knew right off the bat that I was a people pleaser. I mean, and I said, it's something that is really hard to try to remove yourself from that if most of your life that has been your your thing. <laughs> so I catch it now, right? More so because I need to for my own personal health. But um I don't I try not to give it a lot of extra thought and energy because it's not going to do me any good and it I mean it prolongs also for me to get out of that cycle of that particular moment when I'm having a relapse or or a flare up it just prolongs it so again it's things that throughout time you do pick up because you know your body um okay so i've got a lot of most of my pretty much bronzing and little contour on my cheeks and my face so now let me go in with my my all right i sped up sped up off camera <laughs> doing my eyebrows and the brows after you get them done they're like uh yeah it frames your face but if you want to see more details on brows, leave in the comments um, that you're interested in kind of like grooming and different um, ways that you can fill brows in and have a conversation about that. Let me know. Um, so getting back to the subject on the autoimmune, you know, um, one, one other thing I believe that it's huge um, is really trying to keep a positive outlook. I know that it's already a devastating thing to have to be dealing with, especially if it's terminal. I mean, but really when it comes to trying to stay positive, trying to have a, um, a healthy mental way of approaching um because this is lifetime you know it's not something that's gonna go away um which is the other thing right that i think that makes autoimmunes kind of like stand even um separately when it comes to other things um this is it you've been diagnosed with this you know forever so it's something that you need to learn how to live with and how to manage and also, um, like I said, having the right mind frame when it comes to what you're dealing with. Um, and what I mean by that is like, you know, I try to start every morning with time to reflect on the day of giving thanks, um, being thankful, just... Um, it really does set the tone um, because starting off so hurried sometimes it just almost kind of like stumbles into one thing after another without having time to relax and decompress. And I know that sounds odd because you're just getting up from a night's rest, right? And you're thinking, why do I have to do that? Well, your body is already relaxed from sleeping but you want to get your mind kind of caught up to that and a good way is just and find what works for you i know for me it's just keeping my my time with god one-on-one -on -one, whether it's in conversation or maybe reading the bible or just um doing meditation which is just basically having that commune with god so it really does help and set the tone for for the day and again it's just trying to keep yourself in a good mental space when it comes to um dealing with with the illness that you're dealing with so 
again, um, I believe that that's another, another thing. There's so many things, guys. I mean, I can sit here forever just kind of going through things, but I'm trying to hit, I'm trying to highlight mostly the things that really help when it comes to keeping up, up trying to keep a most, the best positive outlook because it really does affect how you are carrying yourself. Um, it can easily fall into a slump very, very quickly. So I'm kind of almost finished wrapping up here and I don't want to make this video really, really lengthy. So let me go ahead and add a little bit of some blush. Okay, what kind of color am I gonna do here? Let me, let me see. <laughs> um, I'm liking this one. Let's try this color. Okay, so I wanted to hopefully I don't know maybe give you a little bit of pointers, right? Um, if you are dealing with some kind of of an illness or an autoimmune and maybe you have just recently been diagnosed with it and you don't even know where to start where to look plug yourself in with a community that really does um help you get the answers um that you need um because when you're speaking to someone that has been there that is there they're going to have a completely different outlook than someone that has no clue what you're talking about. <laughs> so being in a community really does help um, for that encouragement, you know. And, and again, this is just a very snippet video on this. So find yourself really this um, group of people that are there, that, that are dealing with the situation. It's kind of like with any group, right? Whether you're talking about whether you're working on your weight or whether you're struggling with an addiction, is that when you find that group of people that that have that same mind frame, it's going to help you in your journey, you know, and it is truly a journey. Um, let me just powder a little bit of this on my lips. But I hope, guys, that not maybe just um, understanding that not everything that we see you know, we don't know anybody's struggle behind the scene um, unless they share about it, right? And so that's kind of like what I wanted to, you know, it, you may come here and say, hmm, okay, she looks like she's got it all together or, and you know what? That's not the case. It's not the case with anybody's story. So keep that in mind. Hopefully, if there's anything that I shared with you here today helps you, or maybe if you're if you know someone that is dealing with some kind of an illness, that now you may have a different perspective because of something that I might have shared. Um, and that's kind of like again what my goal was for today, and I'm all done. Like pretty much pretty simple, very very basic nothing hugely done just kind of like my every day makeup to go out and about which it looks like i gotta get out of here <laughs> so until next week don't forget to like subscribe share if you think someone else needs to hear this um little message here from me and i appreciate you being here thank you so much catch you next week bye